regarding Capella's last, you know, post credit scene, the three things she said, right? The Tomb of Wisdom, Artificial Spirit, Wedding. I think that intuitively, Artificial Spirit and the Tomb of Wisdom relates to Biko, right? But the craziest thing could be that it's Omega if we're going to take the Tomb of Wisdom as the actual thing, which is the authority of greed that Echidna had. And if you don't know who Omega is, I suggest go checking out some cut content because end of season two, it's going to blow your mind. I don't think it's going to be Omega. There's another potential candidate of being like Puck 2, but it's intuitively, it just feels like it's going to be vehicle. Right now, we're in a very interesting situation where you think that a reset would happen. Subaru's leg is cut off. We're drowning, but I think he's going to survive. And I think this timeline is going to continue to go forward because of the demands that Capella made. The fact that there's so many other moving pieces on the board, like Reinhardt finally freed from Heinkel because Otto Giga Chat showed up. Also, what's going on with Otto? I feel like he's Pandora sometimes, man. Regardless, the run is still going and I'm just like, are we going to have a checkpoint with our leg missing? And if so, Al missing a, you know, an, an arm, Subaru missing a leg, the parallels, oh, he ain't beating the allegations. Let's begin today's reaction. What's your employee number? 187? 182? Mm. Serious. Yeah, if the credits aren't, uh, credits are rolling in the intro scene, we're getting the opening. Today's episode should be fucking crazy. I mean, yesterday, last week was also a priority episode, though, in the opening place, so maybe it's not like that, but cool to see. Okay. Our husband. Our. It's you. Yes. Maybe. They're holding Pristella hostage for this wedding. My knight in shining armor. When is Subaru gonna show up and save us? My knight. Yeah. No longer self proclaimed knight. <laughs> What the fuck is happening? Is this a dream or is this actually happening? So there's a dragon curse blood in him right now. He's drowning. He's expelling a bunch of shit. Which fiend spawned? Oh. Uh, which fiend spawned out of his mouth? A dragon that looks like Garfield's stepdad with Capella possessing. Hey! She saved us? She saved us. But okay, okay, ignore Priscilla for a second. What the fuck was all this imagery? Is this just in his head? It's gotta be. It must be, like, like I'm trying to, like, wonder, does the images that we see in Subaru's, like, schizo dream actually count? Of course this has to count. If we look at what actually happened, something is ex being expelled from his mouth, right? And all I know is that he took Capella's blood and we're supposed to, you know, mutate into something if we're giving into the blood but we didn't so i guess it's dormant but it's looking like the blood me or something you know expelling and then there's like a dragon that looks like you know the capella dragon that we saw before which i think is also garfield's stepdad if you look at the eye color i'm not really sure if it's the same dragon type i think it is the same dra design though and then you see the wolves and then the dragon fighting and then we wake up the fuck does that mean subaru has a new power he can fucking throw up witch fiends <laughs> On command? I don't know. Ow. And the leg is back? The leg is back? Wait, wait, how is the leg back? Do you think that maybe Capella's dragon blood shit is giving us regeneration shit? Because I don't think we reset. This is definitely not a reset, but the leg is back. I'm the only thing I can really imagine is either Priscilla did something to us or it's a, it's the fucking blood. <laughs> it's a band-aid and everything. It's all good. Yeah. Liliana. Yeah, your legs won't stop shaking. What about Subaru's leg? How the fuck did he recover the band-aided up leg too? It's not as if this leg just regenerated and just like grew it back. But well, then again, Capella, like her entire thing, the way that she changes form, notice how her clothing also changes. Technically, apparently, she's just naked. And all the clothing fabric that you see is just part of her power. And if we're going to use that kind of concept on the Subaru and somehow he has the same as regeneration just because we share blood, I don't think that really makes sense. But 
that's one thing that I can really guess right now. Or the leg washed up here with this. <laughs> the leg literally got flooded. They all somehow the leg and Subaru also got washed up together. The Priscilla fucking I don't know. Put it back in. Sure, why not? リリアナ、ブツだったか。貴様らが公園を立て、あの無水な放送があった。リリアナ、ローズ、ヘッド。ブツ。ブツ。ブツ。ブツ。ブツ。ブツ。ブツ。ブツ。ブツ。ブツ
That's a thing. But she said she forgot about us in the beginning of season three. And I can't tell if she's trolling us or not, but like... Reward? That's the reward? Findo. Okay, she saved us. The reward is that she saved us from a demi beast, which is a different thing from a witch fiend. Is this the sub translation? I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a CGI monster. It is. It is what it is. But this is different from a witch fiend, right? It's looking like Capella's monsters. If you look at like the rings, maybe this is the shit that was like hatching out of those like egg things that we saw in the you know HQ. Uh, you know the platform. <laughs> Artificial witch fiends? Yo, Priscilla, show me the thing. Wow. Look at that direct fucking insult to Capella. The one who's supposed to represent, you know, lust. For everyone to love her. Priscilla's saying, this is probably the creation of, you know, Capella, right? Looking at the fucking, you know, designs of it. I think these are the things that's been hatching out of this larva egg-shaped egg shit. And she's saying that there's no beauty in this. It's kind of cute. Yeah, those things. The whip is gone! It's with Krush right now. Krush got all wrapped up by the whip. Okay, this episode when I replay that scene over and over, I'm like, how does a Yang star get drawn? It appears out of thin air. It's actually appearing out of thin air. Oh. She's so cool. She's so cool. Let's go. What was that? Is she just moving so fucking fast that it looks like everything is paused? What's that? She's just that fast. So fucking cool. Bro, if you get cut by the Yank Sword ones, I guess we just fucking blow up in flame. Thank you, ma'am. Wait, 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 wait. No? I, I can't ask that. We, we can't be like, hey, you re remember season one? Yeah. You told me I could grab your tits. I don't think that now's the right time to say that. She got a fucking sword in her hand. No, I don't think it's a good plan. That's such a cool sword. A lot. And like, remember, the dumb, dumber, and dumbest. They, they took Priscilla to the fucking, the, the, the fucking back alley. And Subaru showed up saying like, oh, I'll save you, girl. And she's like, I don't need saving, bitch. Like, bro, she could have pulled a fucking Yang sword back then. She's so strong. I mean, not even that. Her physical strength, right? She is so, so fucking strong. Where's Al? Alright. The hideout? Everyone's pissed and depressed and anxious. Is it really? It is! Their eyes are red! They've acknowledged Sirius! <laughs> Liliana, I wish this is the perfect moment for Liliana to play her song and see, just test, can she break them out of the authority of wrath? Subaru 2! Yeah, he was turning there for a second. Yes. Finally. Finally. Who knows if it was going to work, but from season one, like, sorry, from episode one of season three, I've been fucking saying, like, bro, fucking use Liliana. In fact, I thought the radio broadcast tower would be something Liliana be using, or maybe Sirius would be using to kind of keep the hold, you know, this Priscilla hostage. There we go. Boo! Shut the fuck up! And everyone starts fucking charging at her and just attacks her. Could you imagine? Nah, no, nah, no, that'd be way too mean. So calming, so soothing. Let's look at the red go away. It's changing? That's 
That's a beautiful voice, man. Wash away that wrath. The eyes are still red. I thought there'd be like a visual cue of the when the red goes away. Wow, amazing. And the eyes are no longer red. Now, I wonder if this is gonna be like a temporary solution. And if we leave, that they'll go back to being influenced by the authority of wrath. But it's looking like yes. Once under the influence, Liliana can cleanse it. Who knows if it's permanent, but she can do it. Now you clutched. You're so good. And like, I really want to believe that this is not due to the effects of her song being so captivating. I think that there is something different about her. Like, straight up the song, some sort of like, maybe she has a divine protection or a blessing, right? Something about it, it just like influences people in such a radical way. Beyond just like people thinking, wow, it's a great song, right? Like, there's gotta be something more to it than this. Hmm, that was interesting there. A shelter this full of unrest is a perfect prey for her. Priscilla, what was that moment? She got mad, concerned, and then Liliana cuts off. This is supposed to add some depth and characterization to Priscilla, like she gives a fuck about this? I don't know, there's clearly an intentional moment here though from Priscilla. Cut off. Alright, good job. Oh, the pink hair is Shota kid. I thought that she might be looking for Al, but Al just like conveniently gone. Who knows what the fuck he's doing right now? Probably because it's nice that Priscilla is showing more kind sides of her, that she cares enough to go out and look out for Schultz, right? Yeah. Alright, come with us, please. Alright, bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Priscilla is so peak. Finally, we get to see Priscilla more in action. She obviously didn't have much time to shine in season one, and little to nothing. N nothing in season two. But the Yang Sword shit, man, it is so stupid hype. Yang Sword, dude, it's just like summoning a fire sword out of thin air. It just like gives me goosebumps, it gives me like nostalgia when, I, when I'm a kid, I'm just watching random fucking enemy powers and like, you know, swords just being summoned out of thin air, it's just so cool. Ah, Regulus. <laughs> yeah, he really likes white, huh? Because it's pure of everything. It's like employee fucking outfits. We got uniforms, man. Yeah. You. You are bothering me. Oh, uh, uh. no, nothing, sir. <laughs> Regulus is a big hater of Capella's voice actor. I think Capella's voice actor is great, but obviously it's supposed to be maniacal and screechy, right? <laughs> It's, it's not her voice. It's the thing that she said about the marriage. Ooh. Yeah? Okay. Let me go. Let me go. You can't. Feels like an interrogation, bro. Oh, we convinced him. My wives and an eye, bro. Our husband. Temple. All my wives. How many of them, bro? 291 wives. And he's still a virgin. You know why? Because it would be very loser behavior to lose your virginity. And Regulus got to keep himself pure, bro. He will, not, he will never touch anyone's, you know, virginity, I think. And that's a very interesting concept. Right now, 
There's another show called, you know, Damachi airing right now. Season 5. And there's a girl named Freya, and I'm not going to spoil the exact plot points, but there's a similar situation happening where Freya and Regulus, they're both forcibly taking the things that they desire, right? But Regulus, I don't think, is trying to corrupt Amelia. I think Regulus wants to, like, laminate Amelia and just keep her fresh and just perfect and just, like, never, you know, taint that purity. But Freya, I think, is the opposite of, like, he wants to corrupt. <laughs> <laughs> many of them have already perished. So how many wives are alive right now? You have 291 wives, but they perished. How did they die? Accident? They just fell down the stairs, maybe? Did he three lives? <laughs> 291 wives! 54 alive! Holy shit! Shit, bro, this is a fucking survival game. Alright, interesting that these wives down here? No, 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 that, they, they, I, I'm like, are, what kind of like outfit are they wearing? They're wearing more like dark colored, right? But compared to like 184 and 79, you know, they're both like pure white. I wonder if there's like an order of importance, like more white clothing, the more favored you are. Wow. So bountiful, so benevolent. Yeah. No. Leave one eighty four alone. This is unfair. This is so unfair. What the fuck just happened? We almost went from 54 to 53. He just fucking this. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking. My bad. I, 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 that was a prank. That was a fucking prank. Holy shit, bro. <laughs> that probably is like, I can finally be freed from this suffering. Death is a better way out than living as Regulus's wife is that smile why did you save me why did you save me just so i can suffer why do we exist but unnecessary are you new here you know that fucking meme with the fucking hanging meme is like you new here? Yeah, welcome. This is a Tuesday afternoon. ことの俺は言いました。それ以上私に求めるのは権利の主務の話なんてしてない。もっと大事な話をしてるしもみんなそうだ。みんなレグルスの態度に怯えて小さくなったとしても黙って受け入れて。そういう夫婦の。That's <laughs> And this is just straight up domestic abuse times 9,000. <laughs> hey, you'll get used to it. Yeah. For Regulus. Not for his wives to win this relationship. Our husband. Amelia, you gotta liberate these girls. Man, it would be nice if Amelia could liberate all these wives, but like... Ah, this is so fucked. Like, what are we gonna do? Or can we actually, like, free all the wives, beat Regulus? Where would all the girls go? I'm sure Roswell can have more maids around the mansion, right? Fuck it, my head cannon is, we'll free them. And all the maids will just come back and they'll be just extra servants at Roswell mansions. They got multiple estates. <laughs> oh lord. Oh lord. Ooh, Julius, Julius, Julius. Julius? I'm glad that he saved too, because last time we saw him, he was clashing with Roy. Okay, no death. Yep. By serious. Government office is a new HQ now. Okay. Oh no, what did Wilhelm not do? Oh no, something- Akrush, I think it's because of Akrush, right? 
It definitely has to do with Cruz. Okay, we got the fucking whip back. Ricardo got her whip. If that means that, because like the whip was wrapped around Cruz with the dragon, right? Cruz has not recovered, but not too good. The dragon curse, blood. The blood. Uh, what happened? What happened to Cruz, bro? So I'm gonna. Where did Cruz get the blood? Oh no. Capella poured the blood on our leg. But for Cruz, it was on her face. Oh, this is gonna be bad. What? Oh, do I wanna see? Dragon blood curse thing. Ah, shit. Right on the cheek, bro. Like, imagine how our leg looks right now and think about Cruz's face. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> you, fucking high school kid, you know, running away to go to a party while making it look like I'm still in dead ass looking magic. Okay, she's making her escape, I think. Cool use of ice to get around. Oh, still think. Who's he talking to? Meteor. Talk with other archbishops, maybe? Oh, he yapping. And they destroy it. Hmm? Uh, he's talking to Capella. So Capella didn't open it. Regulus didn't do it. Um, Sirius was too busy with the uh, Muse Company shit, so the process of elimination says it's gotta be gluttony, right? Which number is this? Hello, number 172. Oof, that's some eavesdropping. That was some tense eavesdropping. Capella is right across. Yep. Mm -hmm. Smart Amelia. You never know, because like you're led to believe that it's a lie. But remember, a third gluttony definitely can exist if we think about the constellations, the three great witch fiends, and what Roy, Alfred, and Lai Button Kaitos represent. So the one that represents the great rabbit, it, there could be another one, man. Anastasia just knows that shit? Alright. So, Tuma Wisdom. Yeah, what do you mean by that? Hmm. So, when you say Tuma Wisdom, I'm immediately thinking authority of greed because that is what it actually is. But we also know by definition from Roswell that there's two perfect copies which was given to Biku and Roswell which are known as grimoires, but the grimoire isn't really a known term. It's just what Roswell called it. So the Tomb of Wisdom right now could definitely be referring to the um, grimoire that Biko had. And they don't really know, right, about how that shit was just gone in the hidden library last season. So they're under the assumption that Biko has this shit, but little do they know, like, we don't. So what are we gonna do? And then the crackpot tinfoil theory is Omega. <laughs> Omega's around somewhere. No, I don't think so. <laughs> A certain somebody. Uh, okay. Yo, yo, he's just straight up saying, like, I made a kidnap, but, like, how is that possible? Well, tea party, sanctuary, but, like, is this common knowledge they're supposed to know and believe? Mm, manipulated, gaslit us. That's right. Biko Roswell. Exactly. They have no clue that's gone. Emilia. Oh, he is mad, mad. Emilia is my waifu. 
うちは桐高さんから町のことを頼むってせやからうちは答えなな,なカシカリはきっちりとヒントしてたったうちの教師や。Pride m e n t i o n s 全員各所に設けられた避難所にいる。多くの避難所で人々は、uh, authority of wrath. I think that's what they're talking about. 可能な限り被害を防ぐために尽力はし何もある。Dude, just get Liliana here and have her fucking sing a song through the media broadcast that everyone in the city can hear, and I bet you it would be a lesson. Alright, people gonna die. Alright. Yeah, you're not Kiritsugu. And Subaru will figure out a way to save everybody. Remember where we go back to season 2. Remember, what's Subaru gonna do? He's not gonna allow sacrifices to happen. Now, I think the definition of that was like the close people around him, right? He's not gonna force a reset. He's always gonna, you know, make sure that everybody gets saved. But this is great. <laughs> I will instead sacrifice the majority to save the minority. <laughs> That's right. I'm gonna do the other reverse, way, maybe. <laughs> Fuck the majority. That's right. But these civilians aren't. Ooh. Yo, he's yapping. Let's go. Wow. Even telling in front of Yuli is what a true knight is, man. The difference of the men were prepared to die in the white whale subjugation, but this and Pristella is totally different. Knight in shining armor. だから譲れねえ譲れなきゃいけねえ。エミリアのために戦いたい。いや。エミリアのために戦いたい。いや。けどそれはエミリアだけを守れればいいって話じゃない。平気ねえんだ。はい。お待って生き物はカッコつけて
how do you make a connection to every single other ones? The fact that, oh, I got a signal makes it sound like he kind of picked this meteor up. But the way that he's being set up right now, it just makes it so, so suspicious. Because this dude's goal was to find Priscilla, yet he's fucking around? He's, maybe he's not fucking around. Maybe he's on a mission. A mission that we can't comprehend right now, but like... This guy, bro, this guy is extremely, extremely sus. Today's episode was a setup episode, but setup episode still has so much good content. My favorite moment probably is Priscilla with the Yang Sword. I don't know what the conditions are to summon this Yang Sword shit, but like, goddamn, it's so fitting that Yang, Sun, the Sun Sword, Sun Princess, right? Color matches up to, it is so, so cool. Now, the stuff in the beginning, with this like, nightmare, schizo dream that Subaru is having, the imagery seems to suggest that he is vomiting up some substance and it's suddenly changed into, you know, the witch fiends. And then the dog and the dragon witch fiends start kind of like, attacking each other, right? And after they're kind of attacking each other, they then explode and then he receives back those purple animation. What does this tell me? I don't know. His connection with the witch fiends is stronger because of Capella's blood. I don't really know, but this is very, very odd. It's also confirmed now that Liliana's songs can definitely help, you know, relieve the authority of wrath, but who knows if it's like a permanent thing. Regulus. 291 wives, 54. The kill death ratio is pretty crazy. And they just happened to die. They passed away accidentally. Oops. Bitch, I saw you fucking fuck a pebble at fucking 182. I feel so bad. And she was like, oh, finally, I can die. Dying is so much better than being his wife. This sucks. Like, this is actually so fucked up. I hope Amelia is able to liberate all these girls because this is so, so twisted. Yulia shows up and Krush is looking like, again, just imagine how bad Subaru's, like, you know how bad Subaru's like looks. Now imagine what Crucia's face is gonna look like. How do we alleviate this? I'm not sure. Maybe she's gonna continue to be just permanently disfigured. Or maybe if we're able to beat Capella, that this will simply be restored. But now that I really think about it, the whole dragon blood curse shit, and I didn't know if Krush already had that because again, in season two, trial three, Krush mentioned something about overcoming the curse, right? And I think that maybe this directly is that. I'm not too sure, but Krush is just taking so many fucking L's. I feel bad. The um, rest of this stuff then is like Subaru speech. I think the speech is actually just as hype as Priscilla's moment. The soundtrack playing in the background with Kenichi Suedo just like hyping the scene up. Subaru's declaration of defeating all four archbishops, but not only that, no sacrifices will be made. We will not sacrifice a minority to save the majority, no. We will sacrifice the majority to save the minority, no. We're gonna fucking make her pie and eat it too. It's a quite an arrogant thing to say, but like, I think you can do it. And the final scene here? The final scene? With the Meteor? Again, like, whose meteor did he did, did, did Al pick up, right? Like, did Al happen to just find one? Is he always in possession of the meteor and he was always secretly talking with the Archbishops? Could he truly be the potential Archbishop of Pride because he may have the authority of Pride? I think he definitely has some sort of authority ability at this point. He's way too fucking suspicious. There seems to be his knowledge of the witches, and we know that the miasma is fucking thick from him, but like, the only one authority that I'm right now missing is Pride, but at the same time, I can't be so sure. It could be Tapu just, you know, baiting us into a fucking hook, line, and sinker. And that's it from me. If you're still here, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content, and until next time... Take care.